Good day viewers, my name is Nodi Yambo and today we are going to talk about lubrication for the grade 9 technical studies B. A motor vehicle service involves a series of maintenance procedures carried out at a set time or after the vehicle has traveled a specific distance. The service intervals are specified by the vehicle manufacturer in a service schedule. Some modern cars display the due for the next service electronically on the instrumental panel. In this lesson, we will focus on the importance of lubrication. Learning objectives. Learners should be able to know how to perform a lubrication service on a vehicle. Now that we have our objectives, let us get into our lesson. Brakes and clutch. The brake fluid and clutch fluid are held in the same reservoir in most cars. If the vehicle has separate reservoirs, you still have to follow the procedure set out here to check the fluid levels. The master cylinder is located at the back of the engine compartment on the driver's side. The reservoir is located above the cylinder itself. Check the fluid level in the reservoir. The reservoir is transparent with lines marked min and max. The brake fluid level should lie between these lines. Check the brake fluid color. It should be brown. If the fluid looks dark, you may have to replace it. Add brake fluid to the reservoir if required. Pour the fluid carefully into the reservoir, wiping up any spills, as brake fluid is toxic and corrosive. Use only the as brake fluid with the DOT specification recommended in the vehicle manual. Replace the reservoir cap. Engine oil change. To replace the oil in an engine, follow these steps. Step 1. Drain the oil. Ensure that the vehicle is securely mounted on the hoist. The engine must be at working temperature. Position the oil draining bowl under the sump and remove the sump plug. Allow the engine oil to drain while it is hot to reduce viscosity and it will flow more easily. NB Used oil should always be taken to a recycling depot and never poured into a municipal drain or into the soil. Step 2. If necessary, use a filter removal tool to loosen a tight filter. Fit a new filter. The wrapper seal on the filter must be lubricated before it is fitted. Follow the fitting directions printed on the case of the filter. Step 3. Refit the sump. Allow the engine oil to drain completely. Fit the sump plug after checking the plug threads and the sealing washer. Step 4. Replace oil. Carefully fill the engine with the correct volume of suitable oil. By servicing the vehicle at regular interval, in most cases every 15,000 km or according to the manufacturer specification, this will prolong the lifespan of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. 
Changing gearbox oil on manual or automatic. Put the draining bowl under the gearbox. Remove the drain plug and drain the oil. Replace the drain plug seal. Fill the gearbox with the right type of oil according to specifications. For an automatic gearbox, it is necessary to replace the gearbox filter after a specific number of kilometers according to specifications. After the oil has drained, remove the oil sump and the filter. Replace the filter and ensure that you replace the sump gasket before refitting the sump. Fill the gearbox with the right type of oil according to specifications. Check the level of oil according to manufacturer's specifications. Run the engine, set the gearbox in the different gears and back to pack, etc. Check that the sump gasket is sealed correctly. No oil leaks. Change of differential oil. For engine front, front wheel drive or engine front, rear wheel drive. Put the draining bowl under the differential, remove the drain and fill up plugs and drain the oil. Replace the drain plug. Fill the differential through the filler plug hole with the right type of oil, according to specifications. Replace the filler plug and wipe off any excess oil. Change of power steering oil. Remove the cap of the power steering pump reservoir. Check the level of oil. If it needs topping up, ensure that you use the correct oil, according to the manufacturer's specifications. Water or coolant levels. It is important to check the coolant level in the expansion tank or radiator and top it up when a vehicle is serviced. The window washer water reservoir should also be checked. Grease nipples. When the vehicle is hoisted, grease and lubricate all grease nipples on the undercarriage of the vehicle. Wheel bearings. Checking and cleaning the bearings. Clean all parts well with paraffin or white spirits. Avoid getting grease on the brakes when cleaning the stamp easel. If you are doing only routine lubrication, the outer razors remain on the stump. Inspect them. Very slight indentation is acceptable, but if there is noticeable pitting or scoring, you need bearing. For the inner razors and the rollers, any blemish is unacceptable. Renew the bearing. Lubricating the bearing. To replace bearing, Tap the outer razors into the hub using all razors as drifts. Ensure to fit a tapered roller race the right way round. Pack the bearing with an approved type of bearing grease according to manufacturer's specifications. Always fill the bearing themselves with grease as they can hold, forcing it in between the razors. Fitting. Put the inboard inner race into its outer. Do not forget to fit any spacer between the bearings. Now insert the new grease seal. Be sure to fit the right way round. If it fits flush with the inner edge of the hub, tap it gently home with the wooden block. If it recessed, use a socket door locks, hinges, bonnet, and boot catches. 
wipe off the engine and dirt with a clean cloth. Try to get rid of any bit of dirt that may be embedded in the existing grease. If you see rusted or stuck parts, spray silicone onto the ledge. Move the mechanism several times to work in the lubricant. Wipe away excess and give it a liberal coating of white lithium grease or oil. Dear viewers, now that we have come to the end of our lesson, let us recap on what we have learned today. In today's lesson, we discussed how to perform a lubrication service on a brakes and clutch, engine gearbox differential, power steering grease nipples, check the coolant level, the bearing, door locks, hinges, bonnet and boot catches. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, goodbye.